Once upon a time, the land was ruled by a queen with dark magical powers. With her powers and evil creatures, she reigned over her people with fear and terror. The people wilted daily and became fearful of magic. Just when all hope was gone, two brave knights surfaced and fought against the queen and her evil creatures. The fight went on for days. It is said that during those days of battle, the sky turned red and the wind screamed. The long battle was finally brought to its end when the Silver Knight pierced her sword into the Queen's heart. As she died, she cursed the knight, and the Queen's heart shattered into millions of pieces and scattered through the land, causing the feared magic to be everywhere. Some animals even turned into magical creatures, and sometimes unexplainable things happened. But with the help of the two knights, the people learned to fight and protect themselves when they encountered these problems. It seemed to be getting better. Until one day, the very knight who pierced the queen's heart started to show weird symptoms. She was soon found to be affected by the queen's shattered magic. The people who once followed her and praised her wanted nothing to do with her anymore. Feared, ignored, and hated, the knight became lonely and asked the golden knight for help. Knowing how powerful she was, the Golden Knight feared this could bring another dark time on the land and turned his back against her to banish her. The Golden Knight soon became the king. He reigned over his people with kindness and guided his people to become stronger. It finally felt peaceful. They say the victors live to tell the stories, but what about the other side? What if they were simply misunderstood? What if... What if they were simply born in the wrong time when the people weren't ready to accept something so different? Something extraordinary. amazing. It's as if the fire never happened. Many sources volunteered to use their magic to help restore the building. I think within a couple of hours, everything should be back to how it was. Restoration magic? How does it work? Well, it's not exactly one type of magic that helped with restoration. For example, Margaret over there, she has telekinesis. She's able to move objects with her mind. Of course, the weight one can lift with one's mind differs with one's power, but it was much faster with her help to move the building materials. Then there's Benjamin, who is exhausted and taking a nap from all the work he's done. He is excellent with his fire magic. He helped to bake all the needed clay for restoring the building. Of course, there are many others who helped, but my point is, it was a group effort. That's wonderful. I don't know you as well as your friends do, but I can tell something's bothering you. <laughs> Is that obvious? Not obvious, but as the head source of Sila, I've become quite good at sensing these things. It's my calling to keep the people of Sila safe and happy. So, what's bothering you, Lastic? I can't help myself from thinking I could have done more. Oh, Lastic. If my reflex was just a little bit quicker, then maybe the fire wouldn't have happened. I might have been able to pause it at a spark. Lastic, you were wonderful yesterday. The magic you have is something very special that no one else in Sila has. If it wasn't for you, the fire could have spread bigger than it did. It was because of you and your magic we could help the kids. But not Penny. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way. What happened to Penny is very unfortunate, but it's not your fault. I promise, everyone will continue to help her. Have you visited her yet? No... I... <sighs> I don't have the courage. 
Well, when you're ready, you should. She sleeps for the most part, but she had asked for you and Max when she's awake. Have you been working on something? The entire floor smells like uh, a sweet shop. That's perfect. I hope these taste like sweets too. Are these your dream potions? Yes, I made them for the kids involved in the fire. That's nice of you. But dream potions for the kids? My magic isn't as great as yours. I don't know a thing about healing magic. I still wanted to help them in some way, though. Then, I remembered after the fire in my village, many villagers suffered from horrid dreams. Many dreamt about that very night, and relived the horror, even in their dreams. So these kids might also be reliving the horror of the fire in their dreams. Rachel, this is just amazing. You're amazing. Uh, th 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 thank you. I, I just hope these potions can help them relax in their sleep and have happy dreams. If these taste as sweet as they smell, we shouldn't have any problem having kids drink them. I was on my way to go help a dispensary. Would you care to join me with the potions? I would love to. Great. Uh, let me help you carry them. You made so much of it. I'm ready to make more if there's a need. Now where are the others when we need help? Elastic never came home from the library. She seemed determined to find ways to help Penny. Rylan and Max said they need some air. I think they're both heartbroken about Penny. Rylan may seem like a grumpy kid, but he is so sweet inside. I think he feels bad because he couldn't help her before it was too late. Uh, I see. I suppose they need time alone to clear their heads. Now, shall we get going? Can I get the door for you? <laughs> Lucian. Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. Speaking of surprise, you never told me you had such an amazing power. Amazing power? Yes, of your time control magic. Oh, about that. Sorry if I offended you by not telling you of it. It was nice of you to offer your help to me, but... But you didn't trust me enough to share everything. I get it. You don't have to explain yourself to me, Miss Lastic. Thanks for understanding, Lucian. The more I learn about you, the more I realize. Yes? How shall I put it? The more I realize what an extraordinary source you are. Is that a good thing? Sure it is. Well, I'm not that special. I can't even help a little Penny with her burns. I've searched all the books in the library to seek help, but found nothing. I want to go in and say hi to Penny in there, but I'm scared. You searched all of the books in the library. The shared library of Sila. Yes. Do you think I've missed something? Yes, I have quite a collection of books myself in my own library. The books on the dark... <laughs> the books on the dark magic? Most aren't too keen on the powers of dark magic, but I'd like to think that they're simply misunderstood. They can be quite useful. Now, wouldn't you think it's worth a look if it might help a little friend of yours? You know, Lucian, you're right. Would it be all right if I looked at your library? You're most welcome. Whoa, Lucian, some of these magic is just unimaginable. Like this one right here, it says there is a power to see through someone else's eyes. With some magic practice and mastering the skill, they can hold a power to watch anything happening any and everywhere through others' eyes, without physically being there. That's quite terrifying, isn't it? That is, if the power is used to spy on others. It all depends on who has the power. 
If the one with such power uses it to guard the borders, we wouldn't need to worry about the news not traveling fast enough in case of dire emergency. Hmm, you're right. As long as the one with such power is willing to use it for the right things, it should be okay. Is dark magic still so scary to you? Hmm, I guess not as much. I do feel bad for the one with this power, though. There was a time when I had multiples of whispers in my head. Nobody else could hear it but me. It gave me a terrible headache and it drove me nuts. Oh, I can only imagine the amount of headaches the one with this power would have to deal with. Oh, it's not so bad. I'm sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Nothing important. Lunette, the first source. How interesting. I don't know why it fell. Here, let me find where it belongs. Wait, I don't think it's a coincidence. There's magic all around us, and sometimes it finds a way to reveal itself to us. I believe this book wants to help you. This looks like a storybook on a little girl named Lunette. Plastic, your time control magic is something very rare. I haven't heard of anyone else owning such power except you and this person. Lunette? You're telling me this girl also had the same time control magic as I did? The story says so. Now, this may look like a simple storybook on a girl, but if you go further into the book... It also tells in detail of the extraordinary powers she had. Time control magic! Lucian, this is amazing! I tried so hard to find more information on this magic everywhere, but I had no luck. This is the first time I'm getting any sort of details about my power. If I had known of your power earlier, I would have offered my help. No matter. Do you see why I think this book wants to help you? Yes! I... I can't believe it! You look delighted. Lucian, this might be the answer. So far, I could only stop time. I didn't even know I could isolate this magic to a specific target until yesterday either. But, oh wow, these pages explain the possibilities of the power in so much detail. This part right here, it says Lunette could rewind and fast forward the target's time. Fascinating. If I could isolate the time magic to Penny only and rewind her time back to before the incident, then maybe she won't have to suffer the burns anymore. Ah, sounds like you've found your answer, Miss Lastic. Do you mind if I practice in here a bit? Not at all. In fact, you can take that book with you when you're done with your practice. I recommend reading from the beginning. Lunette's story was... a big inspiration to me as a child. Oh, thank you so much, Lucian! And yes, I will definitely read the whole book. You're one extraordinary source, Miss Lastic. you see that? Sure I did. What in the bloody world was that? Whatever that was, we're keeping the villagers away from this fountain.